Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll show you how to make this exact animation in Blender using smoke simulations. It's not going to be very complicated, so uh, let's get started. So starting off you have to switch to Cycles Render and then click X to delete the default cube. Then we need to add a UV sphere, then let's add a modifier which is the subdivision surface modifier, and then add smooth shading, then click G, then X to grab the sphere on the X axis, then let's change the uh, pivot point to the 3D cursor and then click Shift D, R, set, then 90 to rotate the duplication 90 degrees on the set axis. Click Shift R to repeat the uh, previous action and then click Shift A to add a cube. Click S to scale it down and then select all of the spheres by holding in Shift and then a cube last. Then click Ctrl P to set the parent to the cube and then select the cube then click R, X, then 90 to rotate them 90 degrees on the x-axis. Then we need to click S to scale them down and then deselect it from the render. Then click G, then Y to grab it on the y-axis and then click N to see the transform settings. Then click I on location and rotation to keyframe the values. Now let's move to frame 80 and grab it on the y-axis. So click G, then Y to grab it on the y-axis and let's rotate it on the y-axis as well around 350 degrees and then click i and i to keyframe the values and then we have the basic rotation animation and now we can go to the next step of the tutorial and the next step of the tutorial is to add the smoke simulation so let's select one of the spheres and go into objects and then quick effect and add quick smoke which is a very fast way to add the smoke effect to all of the spheres so just add it to all of them and then let's select the last one and then we're going to delete three of the domains which is the container of the smoke so click X to delete it and do the same for two of the others and then we will use the last domain so click G and also make sure to change the pivot point and click S to scale and then S then Y to scale it on the Y axis and then click S and then shift Y to scale it only on the X and Z axis and make sure it's large enough so something like this click G then Y again to grab it on the Y axis okay so now that we have the domain that we want we can go into the domain settings in the physics which are the most important settings in the smoke simulation and increase the resolution to around 200 I set it to 220 but it depends on the power of your computer and then change the uh, density to around minus 0.08 and then the uh, temperature difference to 0.01 then enable smoke high resolution and increase the divisions to 2 then for the smoke catch you need to save it first so we'll make a new file for the uh, simulation just uh, give it whatever name you want and then we can bake the animation so uh, for this animation I'm only going to bake the first 100 frames because that's what we have animated so to change it to 100 and then you can click bake it's probably going to take a few minutes so I speed it up this part but when it's done you have the smoke animation and now we can go to the next step of the tutorial which is to add the lighting and the camera setup for the final animation so as you can see the smoke is looking good so let's pause the animation and select the lamp so uh, right click to select and uh, go into the lamp settings change it into a sun and then change the size to 1 and then click use nodes and increase the strength to about 7 and at this point of the tutorial you have a lot of freedom so if you want to change the lighting or the colors you can always do so so click G to grab the lamp and click R to rotate to rotate it on the set axis click R then set okay and then I'm going to change the background or the world settings so uh, let's make it white and then go into rendered view to see what it looks like and as you can see right now the uh, smoke is completely uh, black and I would recommend changing the device to the GPU 
if you have one because it's going to render faster but if you just have a CPU that's okay but it's going to take a little bit longer to render okay and now I'm going to change the color so select the domain and let's open the node editor so uh, node editor and then first you need to delete the attributes so select it and I click X to delete the node and if you go into render view by clicking shift set we can now change the color very easily by changing the color in the volume absorption node so just select whatever color you want and I'm going to select a kind of bluish color so let's go back to solid view and add a plane which is going to be the floor then click G, then set to grab it on the set axis, 3 for the side view, and click numpad 5 for the orthographic view. So let's set it here, and then click S to scale it up. Okay, and let's, let's add a material for the floor. I'm going to add a kind of glass material, set the roughness to about 0.3 or 0.4, and let's make the color black, and this is what it looks like, as you remember from the final animation. So uh, I might set it to 0.3. Okay, so let's see through the camera. So click numpad 0 to see through the camera. Then click Shift F to uh, use the fly cam. And then move around with W, A, S, and D. Just like in a video game on your computer. Now, what I'm going to do at the end of this tutorial is to animate the camera as well. And I'm going to show you a new way to animate the camera by uh, clicking I inside the viewport. So uh, let's go to uh, one of the first frames, click I, and then click Lock Rot Scale. And then move forward and click Shift F, move around with W, A, S, and D, and find a new position. Left click to confirm and click I to keyframe. And as you can see, you can also animate without opening the transform settings. And what I also want to do is to change the thickness of the smoke. So if you go into rendered view, and change the value in the multiply node for the domain you will see that the smoke becomes thicker which is also uh, cool so uh, let's go to the next step which is to go into the render settings and before we start rendering the animation I will make a test render so choose a frame in the timeline and then go into render settings increase the resolution to 100% then for the sampling, which is the quality of the render, I would recommend increasing it to around 200 or 150 so that you get a clear image. Okay, and then select animated seed. And if you have a GPU, I would also recommend increasing the size of the tiles. And also go to the outputs and make a new folder for your final animation. So uh, give it a name, and then select the folder, then give the render a name, and then let's make a test render before we start rendering the final animation, and make sure that the end frame is set at 100. So let's see what it looks like, and after a few minutes of rendering, this is what the smoke looks like, and I think it looks great. So now it's time to render out the final animation. Let's just make sure everything is all right before we start rendering. And we might need to decrease the samples a bit. So I set it to 150 and then click animation to render out the animation. And that's it for this tutorial. If you liked this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.